Hello, welcome to Life After War. This is Sandra Robinson, your favorite combat female veteran. Today I have with me Michelle Tate Turner. How are Hi. you today? Fantastic. How Michelle you? is also a combat female veteran. She actually served three deployments overseas in the combat zone. Michelle, thank you for coming today. Thank you for allowing me to have this opportunity to expose your trauma. Well, and I say nice. that with a smile because you have a lot of positives to share with us about going to war. We usually always focus on the worst things, but there is some positive things. We all have grown. We all have um, actually found out who we were because of this. So, Michelle, tell us about your a little bit about you and your life. Um, well, like you said, um, my name is Michelle Turner, and yes, I did serve in uh, three conflicts, Operation Desert Storm, Operation Iraqi Freedom, and Operation Enduring Freedom. And throughout all three of those deployments, um, I learned I learned a lot okay. and experienced a lot of different things. Mm -hmm. And uh, like you said, as far as positivity, definitely learned strength, mm -hmm. um, learned resilience. Um, I learned, like you said, how to be a better version of me. Um, experienced a lot and learned a lot from a lot of individuals. I think the most, one of the most important things I learned was how to be appreciative of what I have, no matter how small it is. Amen, amen, amen. You know, we, um, patience, tolerance, yes. those are things you have to practice. Yes. So it sounds like a lot of that you have actually gained and improved on in your life after war. Have you been able to use these skills in the workplace and in your social life? Absolutely. Those things have transitioned, and I have to um, apply those uh, different type of um, strengths every day mm -hmm. in order to get through um, every in order to get through a day, whether it be at work mm -hmm. or um, just out in the public. Um, mm -hmm. It's um, it really really teaches you how to again, be a better, better version of yourself. And also to be able to help others. I've learned things to be able to help others as well. Right. I mean, I usually, I believe in that attraction, you know. I heard my pastor say last week, hurt people hurt people. Uh -huh. And a lot of us have gone through a lot of wars in our life, including divorce, you know, um, childhood issues, adulthood issues, employment issues, but, um, it's important to make sure you work on healing yourself because if not, again, hurt people hurt people. So, so through prayer, through prayer, through God Almighty, where we're able to gain strength, we're able to gain tolerance, we're able to be patient with others, and we're able to learn to love ourselves so that this hurt will not transfer over to someone else. Would you? How do you feel about that? Absolutely, I, I agree with that. I'm, you know, as you're speaking, I'm sitting here thinking. Um, one of the things personally that I've had to do is, you know, when you see that someone mm -hmm. may be feeling some type of way or uh, they may be having a bad day, yes. you know, a lot of times it doesn't have anything to do with you personally. Right. Um, it's that person that's going through, mm -hmm. through something. And so from, from the main thing you want to do is to try to make sure that person, um, show that person some love. Yes. Show them some love. Show them that whatever they're going through, that they can go through it and come out of it yes. on, on the other exactly. end. Exactly. Um, definitely stronger than they were before, before, mm -hmm. before whatever it was that happened to them. Mm -hmm. So we, we got to always just uplift each other, yes. um, stay encouraged mm -hmm. um, through prayer and, yes. and through definitely through scripture, you know, all those things. Um, we have to have a combination of doing it and definitely, definitely take time for yourself, always. Oh, take yes, you know, you know we're all guilty of that, but I must practice that. So thank you for sharing that with for me. I actually wanted to say, you know, when I think about love, you, you talked about love, sharing love, and we think that love is usually the words that come out of our mouth only. But, you know, a lot of people out here do not get the, the, the actual love, the touch, mm. the hugs. A lot of people don't get that. True. You know, so we have to remember, you know, when you see a stranger in the street, I know it's not the way it used to be years ago, but some people would love just to receive a hug. Just it's receive true. a hug. You know, God loves us. He protects us. You don't need to be afraid. Hug and love on people. And usually when you see someone the way you spoke of, 
they need more than just those words. They need the human touch. Yes. The human touch goes a long way. So I just encourage people to, you know, pass out more hugs. Pass out, yes, smiles. Yes. Pass out positive words. But human touch. Human touch. You remember? Human touch. Touching the, touching Jesus. You remember touching Jesus. Touching the hem of his garment. Uh -huh. The significance behind all of that. Okay? So I know that's kind of playing off of that as far as human touches, no, but, the, but yeah. the whole point I'm trying to say is, it, it, is this important to be more than just a physical character to someone? Be their family. Absolutely. You hug your family. That's right. You love your family. That's right. So thank Let's you. Let's practice that now. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> ah, that thank good. thank that you. Really thank good. you so much. I had a, you know, I'm a nurse, so I had a patient one day, um, tell me that um, he was feeling really bad and he felt like no one loved him. Mm -hmm. He lived alone. He didn't have any family. And he was sharing with me some things. And when he left, I said, can I have a hug? And he told me, I haven't touched anyone in months. Wow. He said, in months, no one has touched me and you made my day. Mm -hmm. And from that point in time, I realized how far the human touch can go further than the words that come out your mouth. Sometimes we don't know what to say. Right. Sometimes we have no idea what to say. That's that time you just give a hug. Ah. That's that time you just give a hug. I agree. Well, thank you. Is there anything you want to share for your um, sisters out there who are listening? Any encouraging words? Um, just to, you know, as she said, give hugs. Um, love on someone every day. Smile every day. And always do something for yourself take time for yourself i love that i want to thank all the broadcasters with wytv7 christian broadcasting station and follow me also follow me at sandra combat veteran robinson on facebook thank you and have a nice day have a great day thank you for being here thanks Michelle. for having thank me thank you bye-bye